Hi everybody. Um, sorry I haven't been recording. It's been really, really stressful lately. Um, a lot's happened. <laughs> Still going strong. Um, but I only have two weeks of school left, which is craziness to me. So I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing and I'm probably just gonna show y'all like the weeks before my final, which is so close. It's so crazy. So tomorrow I have a scavenger hunt that's graded. So these are all of my worksheets. So these are all the tools. Let me just grab them all. Minor tray, basic tray, special tray. It's upside down. Retractor, this is the easiest one. This is the one you learn first and it's just like, yeah, 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 retractors. Orthopedic tray, which is one of the most weird names I've ever read. The most colonial white men name I've ever heard. Then the just regular kind of smaller trays that aren't so bad. The hand trays are really annoying though. And DNC. So I'm just going through all the pictures, looking through the instrument book, making sure I actually know what I'm talking about. Hey guys, so it is today's Friday and I'm trying to study because I have homework due Monday, but I already did it. And I'm thinking I'm going to test next week, but my final is the 6th. And I'm trying not to think about it too much because it's very stressful. And then my final check off this Thursday, which I'm going to definitely practice more, even though I'm, I know, I know how to do it, I'm just not going to go in there overconfident, that's how I feel my last one. and it means I get to go to clinicals. Thank God, because that was very stressful. It was 30 minutes long. This is what I made on my final lab for instrumentation, which is great because then I also passed to go to clinical. You had to pass the other one I just showed you and this one to get the okay to go to your clinical. <laughs> A big part of my final is going to be pharmacology and this is the one she told us to review sure the there will be a surprise as always with her so how i study is i like to learn the groups really well and the important stuff i make a little test for myself and i just do it over and over until i get it right that's the best way that i study so i went to get starbucks I'm procrastinating <laughs> as usual 
So I need to do two Quizlets because I think, I'm thinking she is taking old test questions and putting them on our exam because she wrote, wrote her test really fast. And I also had the Google Doc I showed you before. So that's what we've been doing all day today because my test is tomorrow and I am internally freaking out. <laughs> So another thing that I do is I go through the chapters that I didn't do so well on, on test, and I review it, and then I kind of make a little study guide. I try to make it really pretty, just because I like that aesthetically, and also the colors help me remember certain things I need to know. So that's another thing that helps me study, especially for a cumulative exam like this. to study when it gets dark outside. I'm not a nighttime studier, so this really sucks because now I'm exhausted. So I think what I'm going to do is go to sleep really, really early, wake up super early because the exam opens at midnight tonight. I don't know why she did that. It's really weird. Why would anyone order an exam at midnight? We have to finish it by 1 p.m. Monday. We have two of tests, and I feel pretty prepared for the 101, the 103. It's a lot of pharmacology, and I hate pharmacology so much. So, I'm gonna go to bed around 6.30, which is so crazy, and then wake up really, really early, and study a little bit, and then just go ahead and take one of them, probably around like 5 a.m., and then study more for the 103, because that's the one that is really going to determine my grade. I guess. One test down, I'm taking a break and doing something else because I have till one. And it's 6 a.m. So I'm gonna go get some coffee, um, come back, cram more, and then take my second test. that she's supposed to post our final grade because she hasn't even finished grading our final because we took it online as you saw and there were like 10 fill in the blank so you get like an estimate of what you made because then you have 10 points that are still uncounted so if you make like a 77 you're thinking oh I passed because a lot of grade you make a 75 but then if you miss all 10 or you miss even three of the fill in the blank you automatically fail so it's been very stressful so I'm hoping today she will upgrade them and put my final grade in just so I can put this past me and have a good Christmas. One final grade, thank God. And that's finally been calculated correctly. I do is just average out lab. Oh, you guys can't see. I'll do is average out the lab and the lecture and the test and I'll know my grade. And so I know I passed this class. So lab was this. And my final was, okay, this was really, really hard. This was all like pharmacology, which I love. <laughs> so at least I passed that. And I have to average these two grades and then 
this presentation, which we never even did. I don't know how she's gonna even grade that. And these two tests we didn't even take. Um, I have no idea. Hope I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna pass though. So now the semester is finally over. This has been not what I expected. This has been stressful. I have dermatitis because of this class. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this up. I've applied for other jobs, my other degree I have. It just isn't what I expected surgical technologist to be. And I'm doing clinical next semester. And i that's like a whole other story, like how horrible it was to even get my badge from this hospital. So we'll see. I really wanna thank everyone who has watched all my videos, who has kept up with me, who's been encouraging, et cetera, et cetera. You know, really look into what we actually do. We do not just pass instruments. We have to know all this other stuff that I had no idea that we had no, because no one told me. So do your own research, go to AST, read the guidelines, read the job descriptions, read everything before you sign up and spend money on this. So uh, maybe I'll see y'all in January for clinicals. It's all up in the air.